Coach said he got on to you a little bit after the Notre Dame game. What did he say that kind of recharged you today? Um, he was giving out grades on the bus, and honestly, he gave me an F. So, you know, nobody really likes to get Fs. So I kind of just went, got extra shots up, tried to get my body feeling uh, feeling pretty well for the game, and, you know, just tried to come out with energy. You haven't shot the ball the way you wanted to since you've been here from outside. What was different tonight? Uh, they, just fell, they just fell today. You know, sometimes it happens. I don't – I try not to worry about, you know, missed shots because, you know, it happens to the best of them. You know, the best three-point shooters shoot in the mid-40s. So um, just got to keep going, just gotta stay in the gym and not get down and you know, try not to think about it and just let it go. Did you get down at all? Hmm? Did you get down at all? No. Not at all? No. Yeah. Cam, you're new to the team, but how much was the 58-0 streak being talked about coming into this game and how important was it to you guys as a as, as um, It's very important. Anything as historic as that, as a streak like that, is pretty impressive and uh, you don't want to be the ones to ruin it, you know? So going out there and, and winning was a big emphasis for us and, you know, playing with a sense of urgency because we lacked that against Notre Dame and, and just coming out and, you know, trying to outcompete them. And we definitely did that for a string in the first half. In the second half, they made a lot of shots, but, you know, just being resilient was a big emphasis, you know, late, later on in the game when they went on that streak and, you know, just I think at the end we attacked them a little bit when they pressed and we got a couple easy baskets and then got to the free throw line to seal the deal. How comfortable was it for you to have teammates like Theo and Joel who have been, you know, in Final Fours or whatnot, so when Clemson gets it down to two the way that they did, you guys have the experience that you need to, you know, not panic and, and finish it out the way you did. Yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely great to have that. Um, I remember in the past watching Carolina um, you know, the past couple of years, and one thing that I noticed is in late game, they they always attacked. They always tried to you know score a couple of buckets to extend the lead, and they didn't play pass it in, hold the ball in the backcourt, and wait for somebody to foul them. And uh, we did that today. You know, Kenny got free a couple of times for some layups. We drew a couple of fouls, and and we made it tough for them to gain ground when they had to foul when time was running low. So it's it's great to be with players like that. It's great to be in a system that you know allows us to do that and, and gives us the freedom and confidence to do that and, and it definitely pays dividends in situations like that. Kim, did you reach any level of frustration in the last couple of games? The ball hadn't been falling as much for you. Did you sense maybe today this kind of game change for you? Um, in the moment, uh, the past couple of games, it, it's frustrating to miss shots. Definitely, I can't, I can't get around that fact. But you know, I, I try not to worry about it, just because you know, everybody misses shots sometimes. You don't always shoot 100 percent, and just kind of moving on and getting back in the gym and focusing in is big. And I just figured, you know, I'm kind of due for a couple of made threes and tired of going one for five or something like that. So I just tried to, you know, get a couple extra form shooting shots up and. I got in early this morning with Coach Davis at about 8 and got extra shots up, so all of that kind of paid off today. How early on did you know this was a different night for you? Um, you see, I missed the first one, and it, it didn't come off very clean. I don't think my feet were ready, and I think that was a big emphasis in the past couple of days. In the past couple of games, I haven't been getting my feet under me quite well enough when I'm shooting. So then I just kind of thought about it. The next one fell, and it kind of just went from there. So you didn't realize that footing situation until the first shot tonight? No, I realized it after I was talking. I was talking to my my father um, after the Notre Dame game, and he went back and watched. And he said, "You're not getting your feet set when you're shooting. You're just your feet are." not in a good position and your shot's going left and right. So I got in when I was shooting with Coach Davis today, I tried doing left foot step-ins, right foot step-ins, both feet planted, just so I could get comfortable, you know, with any situation where the ball comes, I can get my feet down and uh, make a shot.